Australia's decision to cancel the submarine deal with France incited the latter's great fury, especially given the claim that the French side wasn't notified until the last minute. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison insisted he has told the French side that Australia has revised its thinking on the deal. But French ambassador to Australia told the national broadcaster ABC that he only learned of the Australian government's decision through media reports. He said the French side was deliberately ignored and deliberately kept in black. French Foreign Minister, who described the decision as a step in the back, has already announced to recall ambassadors from the United States and Australia. Responding to this, a spokesperson of the Australian Foreign Minister said Australia regretted the recall and understands France's deep disappointment with the decision. But the spokesperson also defended that the decision was taken in accordance with Australia's clear and communicated national security interests. Australian Defence Minister Peter Dutton, however, said he will not apologise for the decision and he was not sorry for dumping the French submarines for a better deal. According to reports by ABC, Dutton said the advice to him was very clear that the nuclear submarine was a much better platform for Australia than what the French was offering. Though Morrison stressed that France remained an important partner of Australia, the damage his government's risky decision will bring to the bilateral relations is inevitable. France on Friday decided to recall its ambassadors to the United States and Australia for consultations over the submarine role. It's the first time in the history of France that it recalls ambassadors from these two countries. French Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs, Jean-Yves Le Drian, said in a statement that this exceptional decision is justified by the exceptional seriousness of the announcement made on September 15 by Australia and the United States. The minister also said what the US and Australia did to France was unacceptable behavior between allies and partners, and the consequences of their move directly affects France's vision of alliance, of partnership, of the importance of the Indo-Pacific for Europe. Experts in the U.S. questioned the way the United States handled the issue. Richard Haas, president of the Council on Foreign Relations, tweeted, Not clear why there were no real consultations with France. Informing Paris just before was gratuitous at best, especially as it came just after a lack of consultations over Afghanistan. You might even describe it as Trumpian. What is with U.S. diplomacy? Experts also raised concerns about proliferation risk. Mark Fitzpatrick, a nuclear issue expert and former State Department official, told Xinhua the U.S. assistance to Australia has global ramifications for proliferation that are worrisome.